in this activity, we'll be using a Tinker Plot simulation to generate information about students at two universities, Indiana University and Purdue University. We'll be comparing scores on a test. And, our goal will be to investigate which school if best, on the average. We'll also investigate how the results differ depending on whether means or medians are used to measure averages. To begin, drag down a sampler and create three different devices within the sampler. One to select a university, IU or PU. One to select 26 students, identified as A through Z at each school. And one to assign test scores from 0 to 100 to each student. Next, let's run the sampler to see how it works. Then, let's clean up the table and hide parts that we will not need. Now, set the sampler so that it collects 52 scores, 26 at each university. Next. Let's create a graph of our results. And, plot means and medians for the scores for both IU and Purdue. Tinker Plot begins by sorting scores into two groups. So, if we want more groups, or, if we want scores to be shown on a continuous scale, we just need to click and drag any of the points in the collection in the direction where we want to see more groups. Then, it's useful to straighten up the data points in the graph. And then, ask Tinker Plots to show the means and medians for both universities. Now, let's run the sampler again so that we can watch the plot grow as the sampler is being collected. Next, let's make a historical record of results, and run the simulation 100 times, so we can see the results from multiple trials. Finally, let's create an attribute which chooses a winner to show which university has the highest average scores. And, let's do this for both means and medians. To define a function which will pick winners, 
we need to use a conditional function which uses an if rule. If the mean for IU is the same as the mean for Purdue, then the scores are tied. But, if the mean for IU is larger than the mean for Purdue, then IU wins. And, if not, Purdue wins. Similarly, if the median for IU is the same as the median for Purdue, then the scores are tied. But, if the median for IU is larger than the median for Purdue, then IU wins. And, if not, Purdue wins. Now, we also can define a function which counts the number of times that the two methods agree. If the winners are the same using the two methods, then let's record a 1. And, if the winners are different, then let's record a 0. Then, let's count the number of instances where the two methods give different results. And, let's graph the results. Notice that, for this collection of data, the two methods of finding a winner disagree 15% of the time. Let's delete all of our historical information and run the sampler again to see what happens. Again, the two methods disagree 15 times out of 100. So, 15% of the time, the university that wins depends on whether we are comparing the means or medians of their scores. So, how would you decide which method to use? We'll be considering these kinds of questions later in this course. For now, let's plot both the means and the medians for both universities. Notice that the mean of the means is approximately the same as the median of the medians. But, the medians are spread out a bit more than the means. This will be an important point to remember later in this course.